Westport Fuel Systems is a Vancouver-based clean technology company. We invent, design, engineer, manufacture, supply um, alternative fuel systems and components for a range of industrial and transportation applications. We have 12 global locations, we have 11 global brands, and we, have, uh, we serve customers in about 70 countries around the world. The Westport technologies help with decarbonization efforts and help with air quality efforts as well. It's important that we don't lose sight of, of air quality challenges that we have in cities as well when we have this discussion about transportation. So because Westport technology runs on natural gas or renewable natural gas, you're able to derive you know, greenhouse gas emission reductions through the operation of those engines or vehicles. So with fossil natural gas, you get a greenhouse gas emission reduction benefit of about 20%. And with renewable natural gas, you can get a greenhouse gas emission reduction benefit of nearly 100%. So a real opportunity to get deep decarbonization or work towards deep decarbonization now with products that are commercially available today. So the game-changing technologies that are on our radar is the potential for renewable natural gas. So that is methane derived from landfills, dairies, wastewater treatment plants. Methane or CO2 that would otherwise just be vented to atmosphere. And what's happening now is that leading jurisdictions, Sweden, Germany, California, um, some cities in Canada, are deploying that renewable natural gas in transportation instead so that you're able to capture that fuel that would otherwise be vented and then run an, run an engine on it, getting you know, very deep emission reduction benefits for the fleet. The main takeaways so far from the Sustainable Innovation Forum are what other jurisdictions have done to really accelerate this transition. There's been stories shared about what's worked, what hasn't, what's still ongoing, the type of collaboration that we need. So hearing those perspectives and those insights from the industry leaders and the government leaders that are here at the Sustainable Innovation Forum are well worth, uh, well worth the attendance.